everyone, we've got a new game of Elemental War of Magic Beta 2B. Well, we're loading up the world right now. We'll see what happens. Uh, I see that we have people, there's land, and a story. Uh, just a fair warning, if you hear what sounds like rumbling and thunder, it's not from the game. It's probably from uh, the massive, powerful thunderstorm going by right now. So, just ignore that. And, uh, back to the game. Alright, this one is going to be focusing on magic and adventuring. They, for the beta test of this version, they've disabled <clears throat> what they called uh, civilization and uh, warfare uh, tech trees. So, we'll be experiencing the adventuring side of it um, and kind of go from there. Alright. Let's take a look at the area. Immediately we can see that there's uh, some treasure over here, some treasure here. There is a hero nearby who produces wealth. And what looks like uh, either a free city or one that we started off with. Because it does appear to be ours. So, um, let's see. Yes. It is ours, and we can create some things and uh, get it to go from there. So, let's see. An arcane laboratory takes five turns and produces a spell point. Okay, obviously useful. Uh, what else? A workshop. Materials. I think we all know that's important. Uh, let's see. A watchtower. Ah, they finally brought that down in price to make it appropriate. <clears throat> Let's see, we have 12 spaces and it's a free city, so it's just a matter of what should we build first? What's going to provide us the greatest benefit? Right now, I'm going to say a city improvement that gets us, uh, that gets us materials is probably more beneficial right now. So we'll throw that on the, the list. And then right after that, we're going to do the Arcane Laboratory. And we will have it expand to the north. After that, we will have a Watchtower. And, ironically, the king gets to move around for free, it seems. And because I want uh, some troops eventually be able to be trained, we're going to follow this up with a Command Post. Alright, hey look at that. There's somebody nearby who can actually also help us. He's a average fighter. He's got a 2 attack, 0 defense. Uh, the other guy was a merchant. So in the meantime, let's just zoom in here, take a look. There's lots of treasure abounding. We're going to pick it up with our king. Who's going to go, <laughs> yes. Alright, uh, grids are useful because it allows us to actually move on them. And, let's see... Well, picking that up seemed to coincide with a massive thunderstorm crash. Alright. I can already see that I like this improvement, because um, it looks like you can actually move down to the beaches here. That's, that's fantastic. Alright, we'll just move up this way. And... The auto turn seemed to kick in right off the bat. That's useful because if there's nothing else that anyone can do, it would make sense to have us be able to maneuver. Okay, between magic and adventure, what do we get? Again, just a quick note, anything you see here may not necessarily be in the final version. It could be cleaned up and looking much better. All right, guilds, questing, and recruiting leads to heroes. Okay, that's kind of cool. And magic, arcane research, shard harvesting, channeling, and spell books. They're already starting to make some changes here. I'm starting to be happy with what I see. Um, between magic and adventuring, I think I want to pick up adventuring first. Why? Couldn't tell you. Oh, look, graphical bug. 
It happens. Anyways, yes. we'll go here. Hey, we found a staff. That's useful, because we had no weapons. Now we have an attack. And we will move here. It does seem the auto turn doesn't, uh, isn't really working 100% exactly like I'd prefer. Um, let's see, we'll just go here with the king. See that there's an adventurer who's pretty decent up there. This guy here, Boost City's production. And this guy. Let's talk to Eldmer. 40 Gildar? Sure, that's a bit more appropriate. And then let's talk to this guy here. Administration, sovereignty, sure. Sounds good. We're making some progress. And zoom out. Don't know what that is over there other than visually it's an entertaining ruin. Congratulations. The game is looking great. Alright, next video will be, uh, we'll continue from where we're at right now.